Hello and welcome to the localbozo.com interview. I am here with John Lejoie from the FX series The League. Hey John, how you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Yourself? I'm great. Thanks for asking. John, in the past, if a comedian wanted to make it in show business, they'd have to land a sitcom right away. But now, with internet technology, you can be on a site like funnierdie.com. If you could, please talk about the importance of starting out on the internet. Um, well, the thing is, it's, it's funny what happened was, like, I didn't really know anything about <laughs> any, like, viral video stuff or anything when I was starting, which was about the summer of 2007. I really... Uh, I was an actor working in Montreal, uh, but I always wanted to do comedy, and there was just no opportunities to do comedy. Like, the biggest opportunity you'd get was, you know, to be in a Quaker Oatmeal commercial, you know? Um, yeah. So, really, I just started making videos just because I wanted to be, I wanted to do comedy, and the only way I thought it feasible was if I shot it myself and edited it myself. And then I really like just started like putting them online for friends and family and stuff. Um, but when it started, yeah, when it started like snowballing and everything, I, I kind of realized the um, the opportunities and the the uh, the strength that this kind of thing had if you do find your audience. Um, and I think the, the the main thing that you have to know is that with modern technology and the internet. If you're creative and you want to do something, you can just do it. Like, you no longer, you had mentioned about, yeah, but finally, I, you, back in the day, it was like, you need to land a sitcom, you need to land something in order to further your career. These days, you can have an entire career on the Internet, and it's fine, and it's great, and the creative freedom is awesome. So it's an end in itself as opposed to doing it to, to do other things, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I totally know what you mean. John, on the FX series, The League, you work with New York-based comedians Nick Kroll and Paul Shear. As a Canadian comedian, what's it like working with them? Um, great. I mean, they're great dudes. You know, they're, they're really uh, smart, funny, uh, good people, you know? So it's great. You know, there are no real egos on the set, so the only clash that I would see is if someone else had a huge ego like myself but apparently they don't uh <laughs> no i'm kidding like we're all we're all down to earth people we're all kind of like just trying to do our thing and we all think that you know everyone else is talented and hilarious in their own way and uh it's great i mean it's i i as a canadian my only problem is that i have no idea what's going on in the football world i don't really follow football so it's a show about fantasy football. Luckily, my character doesn't have to know anything about football, which is great. Uh, but in terms of getting along with them and their style of their sense of humor and everything, I completely get them. They get me, and it's, uh, it's a great, awesome time, you know? Since The League is a semi-scripted show, are you able to infuse some of your own comedic stylings in there? For example, in this season's episode, Vinegar Strokes, were you able to infuse a lot of your own style into that? Yeah, uh, well, this actually, uh, landing this role or landing it, like being chosen, I guess, by Jeff and Jackie Schaefer, who who write and direct and produce the show, um, it, it's, uh, it's the best thing for me to be doing because my creative input is not only allowed it's wanted you know they they want they want to get each and every one of us from paul Shear to steve renazisi to mark duplass to nick kroll because they liked what we did independently of the show and they want us to bring aspects of what we do to the show and then and for our characters and uh the um yeah, so like when when we're shooting and they're like, yeah, vinegar strokes. We're thinking of this is a concept. They explain the co they explain the concept and what they're talking about, and they go, we'd love for Taco. He's writing some sort of vinegar stroke symphony or something. Do you have any ideas? And we and we'll we'll talk about it. And I'll go back home and I'll I'll record something and I'll write a song and I'll send it to them. And then they'll they'll listen to it and they'll take notes and they'll get back to me saying what about more of the this kind of thing or what about more of that 
or sometimes they just like it and it's fine. Uh, but it's a it's a collaborative process, um, but really allowing me to do what I do and what I have been doing. You know, um, they they definitely came to get me, knowing and being fans of what I did on the internet. They saw me as they wanted me to be Taco because of what I do and my sense of humor, my sensibilities, and 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 you know myself as a character, how I how I act and. Uh, so yeah, it's always, it's literally the best job I can have on TV because my creative input, that's what I, I really get excited about when I come up with something or, or I, I write something or I, or I show up and I go, what if I can do this? And the thing is, they don't always take your suggestions, but they'll, they'll, they'll always, um, they'll always listen, you know? The comedy album is not new. It's been around forever. First, you have Mel Brooks and Carl Reiner with The 20,000-Year-Old Man. Then you have Steve Martin with Let's Get Small. Your new album, I Kill People, has been recently released. Can you describe how it's different and how you have put your own spin on the comedy album? I won't, like, the thing is, I won't ever claim that I'm, uh, I'm not reinventing the wheel, you know? I'm kind of... I'm working in a long tradition of comedians and musical comedians from when I was a kid listening to, uh, you know, even Weird Al stuff, even though, like, now I don't, I don't really respond to that. But, like, you know, stuff like Adam Sandler. I remember being in, in seventh grade and listening to Adam Sandler's in different ways and not even, like, being totally blown away by what, comedians were allowed to do and say uh like i mean that song especially uh, you know shove a shampoo bottle up my ass put let me put my dick and balls between my legs and i'll act like a girl take a picture to show all your friends that work who you work with you know it's just all this insanity and i remember loving uh sitting by my little radio and listening to um comedy albums and, uh, I mean, what I do is this is a way more musical than any of the other comedy albums I listened to because I was in a, I was in a band making serious music for like five years and I love creating music. I love writing music. Um, I love performing it and everything. So I put a lot of, um, time and effort in the actual music. Uh, whether it's a song about the two girls, one cup, uh, you know, girls shitting a cup and eating it, or whether it's a song about a, a guy who's claiming he's killed 7,000 people, but clearly he still lives in his mom's basement, or, you know, or a song about a guy who got his penis cut off, and and now he needs to, he makes love with a little rubber tube between his legs. Uh, regardless of what the subject matter is, I always want it to sound like a, a song that you... If you were to turn on your radio, um, I want you to, I want people to just go, oh yeah, yeah, that's a catchy, really catchy song, and I, I like that song, but as soon as they start listening to the lyrics, I, that's when they, they kind of get that it, it's just insanity. But I, I'm always like, I'm, musically, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm a Beatles fan, I'm a classical music fan, I'm a jazz fan, blues, like, I, I really love music, so I do put a lot of work into that, and I think that's one thing that musical comedians in my kind of, you know, that I have never really, I'm always kind of like, yeah, it's a funny joke, but I don't want to hear this song 20 times because it's annoying the shit out of me. So I kind of I kind of try to, uh, to make the music interesting and, you know, keep it kind of insane and all that stuff, you know. Would you say you're more of a fan of uh, live performances or pre-taped bits? Uh, well, that's, it's funny. Um, I think that everything in its right place, I guess. Like, some of the things that I do, I, I have no desire to recreate them on stage because the joke is, you know, once it's filmed, if I'm shooting a, a, a heavy metal song about being a stay-at-home dad, so you, with the, the visuals and having this guy in that world is where you where the joke is 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 strong, you know. And and like if I were to recreate that on stage, 
not so not so exciting. But there are songs that I perform on stage that I have no or jokes that I tell on stage that are for a live audience. You know, it's, it's, they're written for that. So I I much prefer perform them for a live audience, and that's how they're meant to be done. And I probably won't ever shoot videos for them. Or, or that kind of vice versa, you know. I think it's just, it depends on what the joke is, whether the joke's a live joke or the joke needs to be in the context of a, of a short, you know, or in a TV show. Um, I think it always depends, you know. What can fans of the league expect from John Lejoie next? Um, I don't know. I'm going back to Montreal to shoot a video for... Um, a song on my album called In Different Ways. So that should be coming out, I guess, in a, a few weeks or so. But, uh, you know, it's looking like we may get picked up for a third season of the league. So that's looking good. All that kind of stuff, you know. And uh, my my penis is a little crooked these days. I don't know why. It's weird. It's, it's recent. It's new. John, for the readers of LocalBozo.com, is there anything you'd like to add? Seriously, like, I started making videos in my basement in Montreal, and regardless of how many millions now are watching them, I mean, I, the, the reason people started watching them, or the reason I'm even on the league is because people were watching my stuff online. So, you know, thank you for listening, A, and then, and then B, for, like, interviewing me and getting the word out also. Like, that's basically how it was done in the past, and, I want to change that, you know. Well, once again, I'd like to thank John Lejoie from the FX series The League. His new album, I Kill People, is in stores now and on iTunes. Thank you very much, John, and have a great day from LocalBozo.com. I appreciate it. You too. Right back at you, man.